Now that we've seen how the quadratic formula works, there's a special part of the quadratic formula, which is just the part that's underneath the square root, the b squared minus 4ac part. That part is called the discriminant. And as we saw in the examples using the quadratic formula, we can sometimes get two different solutions, plus or minus, that don't have an imaginary part, so they're two real solutions. We saw an example where we just got one single solution, and we saw part uh, kinds where we got two imaginary solutions. And so that is all going to be based on what happens underneath the square root. And so by analyzing just the value of b squared minus 4ac, we can predict what is going to happen with the equation. And since we know a little bit about what the graph does based on the solutions and the relationship to the x-intercepts, then we can go ahead and predict, if we know what the discriminant does, then we can predict two real solutions means it's going to have two x-intercepts. One real solution means it's going to have one x-intercept, and we know that imaginary solutions means it's going to have no x-intercepts. So since a negative underneath the square root gives us imaginary solutions, if the value of b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, that means negative, then you're going to have imaginary solutions. If we just take the square root of a positive, that's normal. So that's what greater than or equal to, or greater than zero means. That means that if b squared minus 4ac is a positive number, we're going to get two real solutions. But like we saw on example two, if everything underneath the square root is equal to zero, then that plus or minus piece it's going to cancel out altogether, and we just get negative b over 2a. And that means that we only get one solution, and the vertex is just on the x-axis. And so that's why we only get one solution. So we can determine that just by looking at the value of the discriminant. Okay, so if we look at these examples here. Remember that the discriminant is not the whole quadratic formula. The discriminant is just b squared minus 4ac. So if we look at number 5, okay, b is negative 6, negative 6 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, and c, which is 10. It says find the value of the discriminant, so we want to know what it equals to, and then use the result to determine the number and type of solutions. Okay, so we get 36 minus 40, which is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 is less than 0. So the value of discriminant is negative 4. Since that is less than 0, that means there are going to be two imaginary solutions. And that's it. That's all we need to know. That's all it's asking us. Okay, you can use the table up above to help you decide. Remember that it has to be equal to zero to figure out what A, B, and C are. So on number seven, you're going to have to rearrange it. So pause your video, see if you can do six and seven. Use the table to help you interpret your answer. Come back for the results in two seconds. All right, so for number six, you should get zero and that tells us that there's only one real solution. And for number seven, we should get four, which is greater than zero. So that tells us that there's only two real solutions. And so that is how we can determine the number of solutions based on the value of just the discriminant. Remember, the discriminant is just a specific piece of the quadratic formula. And that's it.